But on to the news, shall we? So I so we got two stories out of the Biden administration today. The first good, the second. It it's not bad what happened, but the freaking bullshit that's going to come from the right wing is going to be annoying to deal with. So let's start with the good. Um, the feds are proposing a student loan safety net alongside this forgiveness. So he, so this was announced, and I was and I picked up on this, but I haven't heard anything about it because the forgiveness part of this has been fighting in the courts. So basically, in a nutshell, as it is right now, existing plans monthly payments are capped at ten percent of the borrower's discretionary income, and those earning less than twenty uh to, uh to, to, to twenty thousand and four hundred dollars a year aren't required to make payments. The new proposal would cap payments for undergraduate loans at five percent of the borrower's pay. Right? Cutting their bills in half and require payments only for those who earn up more than about thirty thousand dollars a year. So this is huge. And the reason why this is huge is because what it kind of does is it sort of on some level lowers uh billing and stuff to it's it's it, it as long as bars are able to make their plan payments any unpaid interest will not be charged that's huge the charge change is meant to prevent bars from having unpaid interest add to their loan balance a practice that can cause debt to snowball even as borrowers make payments this is why most people despite after 10 years effectively making like paying this you know you know say they took a take took you know um a hundred thousand dollars out and over the course of 10 years they've paid ninety four thousand dollars they still have you know say 50 60 grand more to pay because of the interest significantly the proposal would make it easier to get debt erased after making several years of payments existing plans promise to cancel any remaining debt after 20 to 25 years of payments the new plan would erase all remaining debt after 10 years for those who took out twelve thousand or less in loans and and for every thousand borrowed beyond that a year would be added so what this effectively does is it basically makes it so people who you know took some loans just to like go to school like for me if i that would be a loan size that i would take out if i wanted to go back to college if my job didn't pay it for me of course so that is that is really really fucking huge and it's important so the typical guarantees of graduates of four-year university will save about two grand, eight two thousand dollars a year compared to today's plans. While eighty-five percent of community college borrowers would be debt-free within ten years, this is a categorical good. Um, while there is the, um, while there is the uh, snafu of, you know, the income-based things haven't been super great. And while I would love college to be free, the fact of the matter is, is that. The main problem as to why there are, you know, why college is so expensive is if you actually look at the amount of money that it would take to run a, a, a university and the amount of money that it, it was back in like the 60s and 70s and the amount of money um, it is today adjusted for inflation, it's not too different. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit more expensive, but not by much. The reason why college prices are so out of, are, are so insane is because starting with Ronald Reagan back in the 70s, um, they started spending, they started, uh, states' budgets started cutting education and they stopped subsidizing these universities, which is awful, you know, because, you know, because, because, because this also happened at the same time when on the federal level, universities weren't allowed to you know, had to implement lottery-based systems that made it that made it a, more lottery-based systems that made it harder for rich assholes to just get into college without actually having to put much effort in. Which that is a good thing; it's more equitable. But you know, the levies of power at B don't want to make things any easier for the working class because they hate us. So there is that.